I'm Ted from Ted Brakes and we're here today to do some testing on brakes on a slope and we're going to try to get as close as we can to the ASN, excuse me, the ANSI standard which is 16.7 degrees uh, slope or a 30 degree in general slope. Right now it's reading 16.7 and that's pretty close to what the overall part of this hill will be. So we're going to be right on the edge of being the right angles for all the ANSI standards and we're going to show a couple of different things. We're going to show stopping on this hill going straight down, stopping on an angle, and then we're going to use this mower as if you were mowing and we're going to shut the motor off and we're going to explain the difference between a service brake and a park brake and what the different standards are for them. Okay, on the ANSI standard it states that the handles are considered to be your service brake because you're using it, it will stop the machine through dynamic force of the rear wheels. It is not the park brake. The park brake is this right here, which is not in a bad, it's not the best position, which I would consider to be a foot position because everyone is used to a car, but it is usable in the case where you could not uh, get control of your levers because of loss of power, run out of fuel, uh, pump belt breaks, and we're going to demonstrate what happens if any of those conditions were to happen on this hill. And then, then if that if your engine fails for any reason or you blow a pump belt, you're going to have to be able to get to the park brake because we're going to show you how little effect that the service brakes have. Now on a Kubota mower, they've, they've done what I consider to be the safest, safest of all. You still have your service brake, which would be your control, but if the motor were to shut off or anything, you've got easy access to a brake that will stop your rear wheels firmly. So at the, you know, you're really at no disadvantage other than having to use the brake if your motor were to shut off or you ran out of fuel or anything like that. Now on this particular mower, we have added the test brake and that would be this pedal here and we've got this head in the park position we're going to knock it off the park position and then in this case you can use the front and the back brakes together or you can just use the front brake as you're going down a hill to control your traction and control with the rear wheels so we'll be showing both of these in action and what's the best and why we want the front brakes okay so we're going to go down on this hill and then I'm going to show you what happens as far as they're concerned with the service brakes. Now it could be facing up or it could be facing down. We're going to do what it says in the standards to do, in which I'm sliding right now. If I had some TED brakes, I'd go ahead and turn. But okay, so we're going to aim it forwards. We're on approximately 16.7 degrees. And it states that you should be able to move your handles to the outside and your machine should not move more than uh, a little less than a foot in, in 24, two feet in 24 hours. So that, that's in the uh, neutral position with it running and it's not really moving real fast now, but now we're gonna shut the engine off and pretend that uh, we've lost power. And this is where the service brake is supposed to be holding. And so if you had no way of getting to the brake on your mower, which I've seen some you can't, then you're gonna go basically to the bottom and fall off of whatever it is that you're on. In this case, for a bad boy, I do have a brake within reach. Some mowers do not. So that's where you're held mercy uh, to, to, to get hurt, I guess you might say. All right, we're gonna pretend we're mowing on the side of a bank and we have a lake at the bottom and a seawall and we're mowing and everything's good and then all of a sudden the motor shuts off, runs out of gas or the pump belt breaks. So at that point I've lost every bit of control no matter what I do it's going to roll to the bottom. That's why with a Kubota or a John Deere with a front brake it's really nice because I could stop the back. The, the bad boy's not bad, the lever's here on the side, but by having front brakes it's just natural instinct to be able to get to them. And I've seen some mowers that actually have the brake pedal way located to the left and to the front and if you were operating this mower the experts have a have a name for this it's called the death grip 
when you're coming from the bottom of the hill and you see what you're going to be going over which could kill you and you're all in reverse the hardest thing it is to do would be to go forwards with this because it's just not what you want to do you want to go backwards further if anything and the death grip is when these handles get bent because you cannot get out of this until you reach the neutral position to be able to reach to that brake forward which to me is crazy because I can at least get to this brake and if you don't put the brake within reach of the operator then he has no chance of being able to recover in the loss of power or a pump belt braking. So Bad Boy has a pretty good brake here. We think John Deere and Kubota and a couple others have made some nice moves to come up to the front pedal and that the mowers that were designed with the brake where you've got to reach over and still can't get to your lever were just totally uh, should have never been manufactured and are very dangerous. So we're going to show you the Kubota mower next. It has probably the most safety features of any mower built. Okay, so I'm going to take off the part brake, pull the handles in. And on this particular mower, if you were mowing on the side of a hill and your pump belt broke or something, you simply can just stop it because you have all four wheel brakes. If I'm on this hill, I've got water at the bottom and the motor cuts off and I start losing control, no matter what, I've got an easy, convenient to operate rear brake, which should be on all mowers. And then also on top of that, with the TED brake system, if you were sliding, then you've got all four brakes. So we're going to do this at some speed and we're going to just show you how effective the four brake system is. We're going to hit this at an angle uh, as fast as this mower will go. I believe this mower is somewhere in the uh, 11 to 13 mile per hour range. And I'm going to put my seat belt on because I'm pretty sure the brakes are going to try to about throw me off the front. So we're going to use all four brakes. We're going to use the pedal with both at the same time and we're, we're going to have four wheel brakes. So mowing at full speed on a hill like this, that's how fast I can stop and there's not another mower out there that's going to even come close. Even coming all the way from the top to the bottom at full speed, I can stop. And there's not another mower out there that's going to let you be able to stop with all four brakes. Kubota did a great job by putting their rear pedal. I'll try it now with just the rear brakes. And it's definitely going to slow it down, but it isn't going to have the effects of all four brakes. It will shut off after about five seconds of being applied. So with the rear brakes, it's still sliding a good ways. Are you able to see the rear tires? But with all four brakes, No matter the position, you can stop. Just It's pretty clear that it gets you stopped. Even on a hill I can't stop on to go back up. And, you know, even turning, I can stop very quick. There's nowhere that I feel that this mower will go that I can't stop it. I can stop it faster than it can get going, actually. And a 45 degree is your worst place to stop because the rear tread of the right tire is going to be the lightest. So we're going to head at full speed, and that isn't normally what you would do, but we're going to head just at full speed, and we're just going to stop. Now, there's no other mower out there without the front brakes that's going to be capable of doing that. So even straight down, I can stop. See, my cameraman's not even sure. He jerked a little bit on that one. It does stop. 